Do you feel like your crush likes you, but she hasn't come right out and said it? Do you feel just a little bit skeptical that maybe she does like you, but she's just a little bit too shy or nervous to tell you? Well, first things first, you are not crazy. Some women, they do this and it drives everybody insane. They don't want to be rejected or come across as too forwards. So they leave just a bunch of hints and signs hoping for you to catch them and make the first move. So to make this easier for you, we've written down all of these hints and signs for you to learn. Here we go, like and subscribe. Touch. Touching can be the most basic form of flirtation a woman can use, and it is frequently done so subtly that you might not notice it. It is intentional when they reach for the same piece of cutlery as you or touch your arm whilst they are laughing. When you are seated next to one another, there's also the swipe of the leg. For us girls, any opportunity to touch you and enter your personal space is exciting. It's also a good justification for flexing your muscles and wondering what hidden beneath those long sleeves. These actions may indicate that the person is interested in you romantically or sexually. However, it's important to communicate and make sure that both parties are comfortable with physical touch before taking any further steps. Let's talk about compliments. Complimenting someone is the simplest way for them to express their feelings. A huge giveaway is when you compliment someone on their appearance or hairstyle. A girl is telling you exactly what she sees when she speaks to you and compliments your appearance or what it is you are wearing. The simplest way to gauge a man's reaction to a compliment without giving away too much is to offer one. She can pass off the compliment as friendly and then just quickly change the subject before she feels too embarrassed if you don't respond in the way that she wants you to, or in a way that makes her think that you don't like her back. Position. Look at the lady's position if you are having a conversation with her when you guys are sat down on the sofa. Her knees are either facing you or are away from you. Are her arms in her lap by her side, folded across her chest? Now, depending on who we are speaking to and what we are talking about and how we feel, we unconsciously use specific parts of our body as a shield. A woman is likely engaged in the conversation and does not feel intimidated by you if her knees are pointed in your direction. If she's not crossing her arms over her chest, she is open to discussing the topic with you and feels at ease and self-assured around you. Consider their arms as a shield if they are crossed over her chest, well, she's kind of unintentionally shielding her heart. Important person. A girl will gradually start turning to you for everything if she has feelings for you. She wants you to be the first person she tells about any news, good or bad, because she is slowly growing attached to you and cares about you. When she has news to share or is feeling bored and wants to chat, you will be the first person she calls. The more time she spends with you, the more secure and comfortable you will feel around her. Now, this behavior shows that she trusts you and values your opinion. It's a good sign that she sees you as someone important in her life and wants to share her experiences with you. Her nervousness. Anxiety and nervousness are frequently linked to someone who fidgets with their hands, something they are holding, or even their clothing. When someone is stressed out and engaging in, say, an internal dialogue, their subconscious mind neutralizes itself by kind of fiddling with whatever they can get their hands on. The idea is that they may be fiddling with something so that they can narrow their focus from the 10 different things they could be thinking about down to just one. A girl will start to play around with objects on her person or anything else she can get in her hands when she is hit and heavy about you but is unsure of how to react or initiate the contact. She might twirl her hair when she's looking at you. Now, this is a tried and true teen movie flirting move. She could fiddle with her top's hem. Now, when speaking with you, she might pick at her fingernails or fidget with her fingers in general, which is a telltale sign of anxiety. Making a girl uncomfortable is a positive sign that she likes you. Let's talk about texting. Technology has changed the way that we communicate from person to person, allowing for instant messaging and phone calls. When a girl likes you, she will text a lot and may even turn those texts into phone calls or FaceTime. There is a sign that she has feelings for you and enjoys being told about yourself or what is happening when she isn't there. Oh, there are, let's face it, many different platforms to communicate with. We've got WhatsApp, Snapchat, iMessage, Instagram, Facebook, so many. So using any of these platforms is a sign of her feelings. It's important to note though that while texting and messaging can be a good indicator of interest, it's not always a guarantee. 
It's important to have open and honest communication with the person to understand their intentions and feelings towards you. Back. When they are around someone they feel a connection with, women subconsciously arch their backs to reveal their chests. It's a natural reaction comparable to a peacock flaring its feathers to attract the attention of another peacock. However, it is important to note that this behavior should not be used as a sole indicator of sexual interest or to consent of any sexual activity. Questions Women love to ask questions to keep track of how they are feeling, how their day has been, and if there is anything they can do to improve their mood. They also want to find out about their past to make a mental note about who they are as a person and why they are the way they are. A woman will also ask you what your plans are for the day to check to see if you are available to hang out with her without actually asking, as the fear of being rejected or told no can be overwhelming for some women. Asking questions is a way for women to establish a deeper connection with the people around them, and it also helps them understand the world a little bit better. It's important to listen carefully to their questions and respond honestly, as this will help build trust and strengthen your relationship with them. The Giggle. This one, guys, let's face it, doesn't really need any explanation. Consider the teen character in those comedies about romance who giggles at everything a man says. Why do you suppose she acts that way? Well, she can't help but restrain herself around him because of her feelings for him, even though what he is saying isn't that amusing. Although it may sound ridiculous, a girl's natural reaction when she's around someone who makes her happy is to laugh or to giggle. Now, she may be laughing nervously because she's experiencing just too many emotions and is unsure of how to react. If a woman laughs at everything you say, that is a very good indication that she is smitten with you. Her friends. It is obvious that she has been talking about you with her friends if they are aware of specifics about you. Women are more open about their friendships with other women than what men are. They ask their trusted group of people for their thoughts and recommendations. She's hinting that she thinks highly of you by bringing you up. It's an obvious indication that she views the relationship as well more than just casual. Women love to gossip with their friends, so take it as a huge green sign that she likes you if her friends know even the littlest details about you. Blushing. Being embarrassed causes us to blush, which is a physical reaction. It occurs when the blood vessels swell to the surface of the skin, giving our cheeks a rosy pink hue. This may occur when you become overheated or when your body tries to cool itself off, or it can happen when you become embarrassed or shy. Now, blushing is a natural response to social anxiety and can be triggered by a variety of situations, such as public speaking or receiving compliments, or in this case, when you are around somebody you have feelings for but are not trying to hide them. It is a common experience and nothing to be ashamed of. Nine times out of ten, it indicates that a girl likes you and is shy around you if you notice that she blushes frequently in your presence. Plans. Does she take the initiative to organize and join you for a movie? Does she inform you if she is available for after work socializing? If so, it means she enjoys your company but is keeping her feelings for you a secret. She wants to hang out with you because she likes you but doesn't want to ask you out on a date in case you say no. It's important to communicate with her and express your feelings towards her. If you are interested in her as well, it might be worth taking that risk and asking her out on a date to see where things could go. Ladies, is she interested in learning about the woman you have dated in the past? Does she inquire about the girl she may see you with? Has she ever questioned you about your favorite girl? She might be using this to find out more about your romantic history. She might be curious to know if you have a crush on anyone. Personally, I think she is trying to figure out if that place has already been taken before she starts showing you signs that she likes you and wants that position, well, well, for you guys to be together. It's also possible that she is just trying to make conversation and trying to get to know you better. So it's important not to jump to conclusions and assume her intentions without further evidence or a lot of communication.